my elbow. <laughs> when he's not at work. See? Say hi. This credit card processor from Katie becomes the center of his children's world. Got you. Sometimes, though, that's not necessarily enough. I want to become worldwide. I want everybody to say, I know Silky Bangs. I get in the ring, what I want matters. I want the win. And Silky Baines is not alone. Watch out, Jenna Lee's. So every time I've walked to the ring, it's it's like euphoric. Meet Charles Jacobson, AKA yes! David Starr. Less than or equal to negative two thirds X. A high school math teacher by day. Algebra one, I have 156 freshmen. Welcome to the first Chew versus You challenge. A wrestler by night. I was put on planet Earth to be a professional wrestler, and I couldn't imagine my life without this. The second Friday of every month, an old VFW hall off Highway 290 in Cyprus. <laughs> becomes home to the most unique spectacle in town since the days of Paul Bosch. Who's you better recognize Rudy Russo? It's loud. It's unscripted. There's your front page scoop. And more importantly, it's real. We're just like WWE without the sex and vulgarity. Oh. Chaz Taylor and his father Tugboat run a wrestling school out of a dark old and abandoned warehouse near downtown. Keep your head up. They welcome students of all ages, sizes, and gender there you go. to teach the fundamentals of their sport with the hopes of one day sending them on to the main show each month. At first it's scary. The first time you step through those ropes, it's, it's very intimidating. Every single time when you're about to do a, a drill or something, I still get butterflies. These students are your kids. When you spend all these hours down at the gym and you're molding them and shaping them into the best that they can be. Which sometimes comes at a price. I've got dislocated knees. I've broken every finger on that hand. Broken kneecaps, dislocated jaw. Broke my nose like eight times. Pain which no way compares to putting on a good show. Wrestling your whole life, you're consumed with it. Wrestling is my drug of choice, you know what I mean? I mean, literally, it's so addicting, I couldn't stop even if I wanted to. But we'll put it together, it's still gonna cook. And it seems like Silky Baines isn't about to either. Give me my belt! My wife, she's okay with it. I'm gonna do it, so I guess it really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. After all, the world is waiting. In Cyprus, Daniel Gotera, KHOU 11 News. I didn't even realize he was there until I shut the door. Every morning at 5, Kurt leaves his home in Friendswood. So he was crouched down on the floorboard. But that day, on his way to work, someone was hiding inside his treasured El Camino. And the car's right there. With a gun pointed at his head, Kurt was told to drive. Scared than I've ever been in my life. Then he saw another person following them, a second suspect. When I thought about running off the road. In the middle of nowhere, Kurt was ordered to pull into this gravel driveway. Then both men told him to take off his clothes and covered his eyes and mouth with duct tape and then used hose clamps like these to secure his hands. Where to drive and where to go. Pictures taken by the fire department and Friendswood police show what happened next. Kurt's car was doused with gas and set on fire. The blast of flames erupted so fast, it knocked all three of them to the ground. And it's like, you know, it's like, holy, sh you know, and I'm thinking, you know, dumb. And In just his underwear, Kurt says he was then led towards these railroad tracks. Everything was so dry, it was, I fell a few times coming up here. It's hard to relive. <sighs> this is where Kurt thought he would die. Seconds later, he was pushed down the hill into a ditch. I laid there for the longest time. I just, I was afraid to move because I thought, I thought they're going to shoot me. I thought they, they didn't shoot me up here, so they're going to shoot me down there. 
Then came sirens, and Kurt was able to walk towards them. The car fire had been reported. Jeff McShann, KHOU, 11 News. Before answering the question. Okay, 19 through 23. Amina Barrett is a good student. I'm an A and B student. And she loves football. So she plays it with the boys. She has something to prove. I didn't know it was April 1st already. I was like, whoa. I like playing linebacker. I like to hit people and be aggressive. You know, she is a girl. Let's go, let's go. You're not running. But she's not treated any different. Our kids go hard, you know, with her, and that way she gets the full experience. I just jumped up and got him from the top. In the entire Houston area, there are only seven girls playing football at their schools. There's one in Fort Bend ISD and one in Aldine, too. But in the Spring Independent School District alone, there are a total of five girls playing football for their schools. Let's go, Warriors! Let's go! It simply happened by chance. Speed, agility drills, uh, weight room work. Absolutely. I, I see no reason why any female couldn't do it. This isn't the eighth grader's first time walking onto a football field. She's played since fourth grade. We're going to get a point for that? Come on, man. It must run in the family. This is her mom's picture from her days in the Women's Football League in Louisiana. I love her, and I'm very proud of her. <laughs> very proud of her. Oh, yeah, Amina also plays offense. She's a running back. I try to shake him or juke him, as we say. What do her teammates think? I remembered when I saw her at, uh, when we were getting our pads. I was like, oh, okay, so this is different. But when she came on and I saw her play, then I was like, okay, we got a good girl on her team. Looks like she's won their approval. She's great. She likes football. Yes. Yes. Who knows what tomorrow will bring for Amina and other girls on the gridiron. One, two, three, one. She hasn't made up her mind how far she'll try to take this. But to any girls out there who want to play, she has this advice. Never let anyone ever tell you that you can't. If this is something that you want to do, you work hard and you put your mind to it. Never give up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sherry Williams, KHOU, 11 News. All right, let's go. Yes. That is awesome, <laughs> Amina. Go, girl, go.